Well, just into the newsroom, sex abuse charges are dismissed against a prominent gay rights activist and political fundraiser. Prosecutors said they couldn't go forward with the case against Terry Bean because the alleged victim refused to testify. Tim Becker was in the courtroom and he joins us live from Eugene. Tim? Yeah, this case took a few twists and turns along the way. At the end of the road, though, Mr. Bean is free to go uh, from all the sex abuse charges that he faced here in Eugene. It's a result that the district attorney here calls, uh, well, he says it offends justice. Bean was here in court this morning, uh, and he and his former boyfriend are facing uh, charges of, well, they were facing charges of sexually abusing a 15-year-old boy in 2013. But the attorney for that alleged victim, who's now 17, tells me he's been traumatized by the legal process and investigation. He wants no part of a long, drawn-out public trial. Prosecutors say they need uh, his testimony to move forward and suggested to the court at one point that the alleged victim was unwilling to testify because he was being paid. The teenager's attorney says that's not true. But lawyers for Bean did ask a judge if they could settle this case out of court. Well, that was ultimately denied a while back, but today's dismissal, really frustrating for prosecutors. Mr. Bean offered him over $200,000 to civilly compromise this case. Now, if you're this child and you have the choice between embarrassment and five dollars a day and over two hundred thousand uh, dollars for your use, uh, it seems to me that that would be a highly influential um, factor in deciding what you're going to do. If my client decides to make a business decision and move on with his life and get back to the things that he, that he does, which is commercial development and uh, social change, he'll do that. Bean's case was dismissed without prejudice. That means prosecutors can refile charges if the alleged victim changes his mind. Also, the deputy district attorney in this case says Bean could potentially face charges in connection with a separate unspecified investigation. That's happening right now in Multnomah County. We'll be sure to follow that case and let you know if there are any developments there with that. For now, though, live in Eugene, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Very interesting. Okay, thank you, Tim.